In this video, we're going over how you can check if a script is safe to run or not. As usual, I need to emphasize that this is a video game, not real cybersecurity. The first thing you will need is a testing environment. I am using an MPC system for this showcase. I have created four different scripts here that will showcase different things that you could find, well, that could be present inside a script that would make it unsafe. And we're going to check how you can detect that on your system. So let's take a look at the first one up here. Uh, in this script, um, a R shell is created on the system uh, where the script is uh, being run. So uh, the player who created this script uh, would put in the details to their R shell server and when you run it, if you run this script on your system or one of your systems, a backdoor would be created on that system that would uh, allow the player who created the script to access uh, your system. So how do we prevent this? Well, no, not prevent. How do we detect this? Um, if we type PS, we can see all the processes that are running on a system. And if we now run this script, which I've named one, and then we run PS again, you can see that a R shell client is now running uh, as one of the processes on the system. And this is the backdoor the uh, player who created this script would be using to get into your system. In order to protect yourself, no, wait, um, yeah, so this is how you detect it, and uh, there's also a, an extra layer to this, and that is that the R shell could have a different name. So let's say that the player uh, put the name sudo, like this. Let's save this again. And let's kill the our shell and now that we run it you can see that it's gone if we now run the updated script and run ps you can now see that there is a sudo running on the system even though that doesn't make sense so um, in order to uh, detect a uh, an R shell, you would have to not only check for uh, processes called R shell client, but also uh, check if there are any uh, commands that are out of place or uh, processes that are out of place on the system with PS. So that's the first one. Let's uh, kill that one as well. And let's move on to the next one. So the next one could be malicious, but it doesn't have to be. Uh, in this example, the script is connecting to an external server. And this could be done for legitimate reasons. For example, the uh, BTC shop is connecting to the BTC shop server so that you can download the programs from the BTC, BTC shop but if a, a script is making connections to a server and it doesn't make sense for the script to do that then you might consider that to be malicious or at least something to be um, careful when using so let's see how we can detect that and yeah, one way we can detect that um, Probably the best way to detect that would be to run a sniffer. And this is a script you can find in the special shop. So now we have started the sniffer. It's waiting for some kind of connection to be made. Then we run the script that we are curious about. So let's do that. And now we can see that a connection was made from our computer to the destination 
and some other uh, information like user and password is also included. Uh, so uh, with the sniffer we can detect if uh, the script is making any connections uh, to uh, some external server. Okay, moving on. Uh, in the next one, this is a bit uh, trickier to check without a more sophisticated tool that can scan the system for changes, but uh, we could check. Uh, so you can see here in the boot folder, and uh, we just have these standard files in here. We can also do ls la boot like this. And we can see there's nothing strange going on here. But if we run this. And now again, check in here. And we can also check in here. You can see that a new file has been created. In the example, it's just a, a harmless text file. But uh, if the script you are running is creating uh, or making changes to a system that doesn't make sense. That is another way to detect uh, something that potentially could be dangerous. Uh, okay, moving on. The last one I have for you today is... Uh, so if we do the log viewer, we can see that there is a connection established uh, from the previous test we did here. So if we delete those, we start a clean log viewer. Now we run this one. And I think we have to restart that again. We can see that a file has been deleted, which was the file we created Previously, so if you see again, uh, one way to check the changes on the file system would be to have some kind of script that checks uh, the file system. Um, but another way to check uh, changes uh, is to check if there are any uh, delete file uh, or other logs uh, in the log file, uh, which could also indicate that the script is doing something it shouldn't be doing uh, unless it makes sense for it to have deleted uh, the file, of course. So those are the methods for checking if a script is safe or not. Uh, and again, you should do this on a uh, testing or in, in a testing environment. So maybe a rental you own or some random NPC system uh, that you gain access to. I hope you guys liked the video and I'll see you all in the next one.